Trust is an essential quality that allows us to build relationships and rely on others for support. In conclusion, trust is an essential quality that allows us to build and maintain strong relationships. However, it's important to learn to trust wisely in order to protect ourselves from being taken advantage of or deceived. This means paying attention to our own feelings and instincts, setting boundaries and communicating clearly, and recognizing that trust is something that is earned over time. It also means being willing to forgive and rebuild trust when it has been broken. By following these tips and being mindful of our trust in relationships, we can build and maintain healthier, more fulfilling connections with others. However, trust can also be misused or taken advantage of, which is why it's important to learn how to trust wisely. One factor that can influence our ability to trust wisely is naivety. Naivety refers to a lack of experience or knowledge that can lead to a person being more trusting or gullible. A person who is naive may not have the necessary life experience to recognize when they are being taken advantage of or deceived. Unfortunately, the only way to truly learn to trust more wisely is through negative experiences. It is only through feeling the pain of being deceived or taken advantage of that a person can learn to be more cautious in their trust. This does not mean that all trust is bad or that we should not trust others at all. Rather, it means that we should be more mindful of who we trust and why. So, how can we learn to trust more wisely? One way is to pay attention to our own feelings and instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it's important to listen to that inner voice and consider whether the person or situation we are dealing with is trustworthy. It's also helpful to gather information and seek advice from others, such as friends or family members, before making a decision about whether to trust someone. Another way to learn to trust more wisely is to set boundaries and communicate clearly with others. This can help prevent misunderstandings and ensure that our trust is not being taken advantage of. It's also important to remember that trust is something that is earned over time, and it's okay to take things slowly and get to know someone before fully trusting them. It's also important to recognize that trust is not an all or nothing proposition. We can trust some people in some areas of our lives, but not in others. For example, we may trust a close friend with our deepest secrets, but not trust them to manage our finances. Similarly, we may trust a co-worker to complete a project on time, but not trust them to keep a confidence. It's important to consider the specific context and level of trust that is appropriate in each situation. Another important factor to consider is the role of forgiveness and trust. Trust can be broken, and when it is, it can be difficult to regain. However, forgiveness is an important part of the process of rebuilding trust. It's important to recognize that we all make mistakes and that it's possible for someone to earn back our trust if they are willing to take responsibility for their actions and make amends. Trust is an essential quality that allows us to build relationships and rely on others for support. However, naivety can lead to trust being misplaced and result in negative experiences. The only way to truly learn to trust more wisely is through negative experiences, but this does not mean that we should not trust others at all. Instead, it's important to pay attention to our own feelings and instincts, set boundaries and communicate clearly, and recognize that trust is something that is earned over time. It's also important to consider the specific context and level of trust that is appropriate in each situation and to be willing to forgive and rebuild trust when it has been broken. By doing these things, we can learn to trust more wisely and build healthier, more fulfilling relationships with others. In addition to the risks and consequences of being too trusting, there are also ways in which we can build and maintain trust in our relationships. One way to build trust is through consistency and reliability. When we consistently follow through on our commitments and do what we say we will do, it helps to build trust with others. This is especially true when it comes to important or sensitive matters, as it shows that we are dependable and can be counted on. Another way to build trust is through open and honest communication. 
When we are open and transparent with others, it helps to build trust and create a sense of intimacy and connection. This can involve sharing our thoughts and feelings, as well as being honest about our intentions and actions. Empathy is also an important component of trust. When we are able to understand and respond to the needs and feelings of others, it helps to build trust and foster deeper, more meaningful relationships. This can involve listening actively, showing understanding and compassion, and being there for others when they need support. Finally, it's important to remember that trust is not a one-time event, but rather a continuous process. It takes time and effort to build trust, and it requires ongoing effort to maintain it. This means being consistent and reliable, communicating openly and honestly, and showing empathy on a regular basis. In summary, there are various ways in which we can build and maintain trust in our relationships. This includes being consistent and reliable, communicating openly and honestly, and showing empathy. It's also important to remember that trust is a continuous process that requires ongoing effort to maintain. By building and maintaining trust, we can create deeper, more meaningful relationships with others.